Hey everybody, welcome back to the Infinite Regression. Oh man, so infinite, so regressy. Anyway, um, still I'm trying to knock out a few more Steam games because I know I'm going to be bringing in some more, what with the Steam sale and everything. But yeah, decided to take a little time and review this budget title that I picked up last year, which I can't believe didn't get put down in the budget explosion, the budget extravaganza that I'm still going to do this year, still coming up, so look forward to that. Anyway, here's the thing about it, is that we're talking about a game called Alpaca Dash. Now, this game I purchased mainly because it looked adorable, number one. Uh, number two, my sister writes a series of books about alpacas. <laughs> they are mysteries which involve alpacas, and it has a very like small but devoted uh, fan following. <laughs> and so, like, um, yeah, I was looking at maybe, like, maybe she might like this and stuff. So, yeah, purchased for that reason. Now, this game is stupid difficult, <laughs> and it really shouldn't be, uh, but it is. So, there are just two mechanics in the game, really. It's an auto runner, and you can jump, and you can shoot. And the shooting is unforgiving and rough. And the um, jumping is a little mushy. So, <laughs> yeah, it drives me crazy because the two things that you do in this game, like if you are doing the alpaca dashing without the auto laser on, you crazy. It's way too hard that way. Way too hard. And so you got to have the laser auto run. Absolutely. You got to have the laser auto aim and stuff. And, um, and then like you've got to treat the shooting and the jumping as if they are two separate and distinct things. Because, and, and I don't know if this is just my experience, your experience may vary. But I, I'm just telling you what I experienced in my gameplay that I have run through multiple, multiple times with this game, trying to do a decent job of it and dying way too early. Sorry, that's how that goes. Um, so the jump controls are mushy and it's easy to miss a lot of ledges which is, you know, th that's just a bad thing for an auto runner to have. Because in order to have an auto runner, you've got to be able to hit those precise jumps and know that, like, if you die, that's on you. It's not on the game. Now, definitely, I'm not a great auto runner player, admittedly, but I'm not this bad. And so... Yeah, I just constantly felt like I was dying and that it had more to do with slippery controls than it had to do with me because you have to gauge the jumps uh, late <laughs> and you have to gauge the shooting early. So you have to treat those as if they're basically two separate and distinct games. And I was playing with my mouse. I tried playing with other things, keyboard, um, gamepad. Gamepad, I got no feedback whatsoever. Like, it didn't let me play with gamepad. It says it has gamepad support. I'm using an Xbox 360 controller, which is the most wildly uh, compatible controller that you can use with Steam. And it still didn't show up. And uh, keyboard was mushy and mouse was mushy. So controls were mushy. And that's no good for an auto runner. It's just not. And so even though the game is undeniably cute and I've seen what some of the unlockables are, 
uh, spoiler alert, there's a Sailor Moon alpaca, which is adorable. Um, and there's some other sort of licensed type properties and whatnot uh, that are really interesting. But if the game isn't fun to play at its core because the controls are all slippery and ridiculous, then that's no good. Now, I do like so many things about this game. The fact that the land is being changed from dark gray and gross and sad to like pink and adorable and happy and cute as you were running across, that's awesome. Uh, I like the power-ups and how generally simple they are. You can get a shield, you can get upgrades to your laser, that's about it. And that's really all you need, honestly. But because my experience with the controls was that they were very imprecise, and I don't know if that's just my use case, uh, this game does have some reviews, and they are generally positive. Very positive, as a matter of fact. So I'm the lone jerk who is like, Oh, this game is no good. So your use case might vary. But mine, I'm just like, well, the shooting was too hard. And and the fact that there were only two game modes, easy and hard, and easy was way too hard. <laughs> For me, given the slipperiness of the controls and the fact that I'm having to... Uh, jump er, like jump late and shoot early in order to make all the things happen which that's hard to do at the same time like it just is try it try jumping late and shooting early it's hard anyway uh let me put a final score on this one and we'll be done with it Okay, final score wise, we're going to go a three out of a possible six geometry dashes. That's right. Can't do any better than that. Uh, geometry Dash is a much better game, which you can purchase for a similar price right now, uh, or you can play it for free online, I'm pretty sure. Anyway, uh, so yeah, Geometry Dash is better. Alpaca Dash <sighs> leaves me wishing that it were able to run a little better. And maybe it's just my personal computing that, uh, you know, whatever's happening with my machine is making it so it's not working right or whatever. But, <clears throat> but yeah, I just wasn't having a ton of fun because I kept dying and kept feeling like... It was the fault of the game rather than my fault, which I am, I have no problem telling you when I'm dying a lot and it's my fault because I am not the world's best gamer. I'm just not. But yeah, th this game left me wanting and that means that I cannot wholeheartedly recommend it much as I wish I could. Anyway, ladies and gents, that will do it for this one. I will see you in the next one. Okay. Bye.